Let's get the differential and reassemble the rear axle. Like a legit scraper. Like this gasket was on good. Yeah. Screwing this up big time. Don't worry, I'm gonna give it a finger job when I go back. Yeah, buddy. Make sure we get around these bolt holes. I'm terrible at this. I'm so glad I'm not a mechanic for, for a living. I think it only goes on one way, but maybe it goes like this. Kinda. No. Maybe it's that way. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was it. Perfect. Cool. Sweet. All right. About to make a grown man look like a big baby. Because we're about to try and eat this thing on up here. Because it's got to go, you got to go here, to there. And this thing weighs like 150 pounds. Yes, I know. If I got to eat eight, it'd be a whole lot lighter, a whole lot easier to do this trick. But we didn't do that. Oh, all right. So maybe I can just like think. I don't know. Yep, don't. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Alright. Move it here and then boom. So, oh, so the rear axle is all nice and assembled. As you can see, we got the, the new diff, or the freshly rebuilt diff is put in. You can, there you go, there's a better shot of it right there. Yeah, got that diff in. So now, now we get to the next step. Um, we have to measure for the drive shaft. That's, that's, that's our next point um, to do. We'll basically take the difference of length of this transmission and basically get, get the length from engine to, to the differential right there so that we can give that measurement uh, 
to the drive shaft shop and they can just basically make us a all brand new drive shaft. I'm expecting it to be the same identical length. That's what I'm expecting it to be. So I'm expecting it to be, because it's supposed to be uh, 53 and three quarters. That was the measurement I had get, given the drive shaft shop way back when from the back of the flange to the very front part of the, uh, to the very front of, or the, you know, to the yoke, very, very, at, you know, edge of the yoke. So, uh, I just need to get that measurement to them. So I might just go, ahead, let's go ahead and get that measurement going. So I use this measurement, this tape. So now we're going to use this tape and just, just, just double check, you know, we're just double checking. So this was 30. This measured to be 30 and a half. So I'm still getting 30 and a half. Actually, oh. Actually, yeah. <laughs> oh. I go to that plate. You know, of course, through the mangled shift rod. I need one of those tape measures that has four. Oh, that's that's shorter. That's it's definitely eighty four. All right, so using our different tape measure and measuring again, we we ended up with so we ended up with thirty and five eighths. Still got the inch and one half, and then we got eighty four and a quarter. So. So last time it was 52, 7 eighths. So we got 84.24, 84 and a quarter, minus the inch and a half, minus 30.65. So that's 52, 52 and an eighth. All right, so here's pretty much what I have deduced of what we're going to uh, go ahead and go with and email the drive shaft shop so that they can go ahead and get started making the new drive shaft. So here's my final measurement that I've, I, I think I'm going to go with. Um, 86 inches from back of the engine to the very tip of the drive or the differential yoke the inch and a half hub transmission is 32 inches long i've double checked triple checked this measurement i don't know what i did those those are wrong. i feel like those are wrong then i come out to be 52 and a half inches for uh 52 and a half inches uh is what's needed for a drive shaft now what i had sent to the drive shaft before was 52 and a quarter so if I'm a quarter inch off, I, that that's not bad. That's all right. Went inside, got something to eat, cooled off, changed the shirt, cleaned up a bit, and uh, came out here to just remeasure again, just to be sure. I made sure the suspension's loaded up. I'm still getting 52 and a half. So I think that's what I'm going to be uh, sending out to drive shaft shop is 52 and a half. And so I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, pretty much the next the next thing to take care of is going to be the transmission. We got to get the transmission sent out to uh, Texas Drivetrain Performance to be rebuilt with their Stage Two rebuild, and 
then we got to pull the engine. So I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for all that's to come. And I, you know, I'll definitely show what I can, when I can. If you guys have a question along the way with any of the stuff that I have going on, you go ahead and just write down in the comments. We'll, we'll go ahead and give you an answer to it. Just like Second Shift Racing did asking about the brakes. So once again, guys, appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next